Hello, this is Michelle Knight from michellenight.com and this is the astrological update for Virgo for the whole of 2011. Now, the first three months of this year are very important. You're working really hard, you're being very diligent and you are creating some extraordinary stuff. A lot of people think Virgos are kind of accountants or do very normal jobs, but actually some of the funniest people I know are Virgo. I know lots of actors and presenters who are Virgo and you do actually have a creative slant. And these three months, whatever job you're in, you'll be feeling a lot more creative and you will be performing incredibly well. Usually you do 10 times the work of other people around you and even then you're still very self-critical. No matter what you do, you never feel it's quite enough. For the next three months, allow yourself to let yourself off the hook and to understand that actually you are probably brilliant and a genius. Allow yourself to shine and pat yourself on the back. And also, if you feel that anybody is stealing your thunder or not allowing you to kind of be given the praise that you deserve, or perhaps they're kind of taking your ideas, it's time to really stand up and be counted and to honor your skills, your brilliance, and your talents. Because in these three months, you're gonna achieve something extraordinary, and it's up to you to allow yourself to be seen and properly kind of praised for what you've achieved. There's nothing wrong with that, you deserve it. And don't put yourself down either, you are probably doing a very good job indeed. Now when we get to March, you go through a kind of a romantic explosion. Being a Virgo, you can be quite extreme when it comes to your love life. Sometimes you're very insular, you're a little bit critical of yourself, occasionally you're critical of your partner. You don't allow yourself to really relax fully in a relationship or you're the opposite. You're totally obsessed and have someone on a pedestal and there doesn't seem to be any in between. In March, there's a new moon in your opposite sign of Pisces and it allows you to experience a different level of love. You suddenly, you want romance, you want intimacy. You, you see someone in a very loving way. You want kind of gentle sensuality. You want a communing of souls and you could bump into someone in March that kind of has that effect on you or suddenly your partner who perhaps you've taken for granted or not kind of you know been flowing with recently suddenly you slip into the most beautiful dreamlike state with them you're back to staring in their eyes and having a great time and this is a real relief for you because you have those feelings inside you but you just keep them a little bit repressed and to just let go and feel this romantic wave overcome you it's okay, don't worry about it. You are lovable, you are adorable, and you are enough as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be loved. And the universe wants to show that to you in March. You might find it slightly uncomfortable, but I would suggest you go with the loving flow. Because this is also coupled by Mars being in your seventh house. Now Mars is the planet of passion, sensuality, your very life force. And that being in your seventh house of relationships, not only are you feeling kind of airy fairy soul love, you're also feeling intense lust and passion and the ability to express yourself in a brand new way. But also the ability to express yourself with love. Even if you're doing something kind of adventurous or powerful, or you're doing something in work, you're able to do something in a strong way, but with love in your heart, and you're really enjoying that feeling. Now, Dynamic Mars also lands at your feet at the end of the year and is in your sign. So you're able to take all the kind of soft and beautiful things you've learned this year and you're able to hopefully by then be standing proud in your career, proud of your own achievements and not putting yourself down for a change. And you're able to be open and loving with the people around you. And then your Mars being in your sign, you're being led forward with passion and power to really finish the job well and to push yourself forward with confidence and generally you would have had a delightful year hopefully where you have learned so much about yourself and so much about life and really experienced things on a very soft gentle and creative level take care and i'll speak to you soon